Hey one and all, just a quick video on FE350 camshaft and crankshaft gear tech. Now, early FE350s used this gear with a chamfer on it. It's 23 teeth on that guy, and it would match a 44 tooth uh, camshaft gear. Later production, like 99% of what we see, is going to have the square gear on the crankshaft, 21 teeth, and um, 46 teeth on the cam gear. Now, if you were to pile these things up on top of each other like this, or you're looking in your parts bin, they look almost identical, but the tooth count, as mentioned, is different. The other difference is um, the ID is 1.375 inches on the early one, and a late FE350 would have 1.395. So, you know, be mindful of that as well. If you're going to run an early gear, on the crankshaft, you'd have to, on a late model crank, you'd have to machine the ID 20,000s. So, uh, hopefully that helps, uh, you know, anybody who might have run into this. The, the sign that you're going to see that there's something wrong is if you've installed your camshaft, uh, the engine is bound up. It won't, won't turn over. So, you know something's going on there. So, I mean, just be mindful that the early and late cam gear, both on the uh, crankshaft and the cam gear, uh, they don't uh, play nice together if they're mixed up. Anyways, I hope that helps anybody that might fall into that trap. Okay, see ya.